But I'll continue asking your question. Answer okay. your question. Yeah. <laughs> I I went back to China with the Seattle dream of the internet. I believe this thing is going to change the world. I believe this thing will be good, big. But whether Alibaba, uh, whether Jack Ma and his team can be successful, I don't know. I told the team somebody will be successful, but not may not be us. We have to work very hard. So it were tough days in China, year 2006, uh, 1996, 1997, and then uh, we go nowhere because we, we only, I borrowed $2,000 from my friends and families and relatives together. So we compete with China Telecom. They have money, they have the mouth, SOE, they state on the business, they compete with us. Finally, you know, they cannot kill us because we want to survive. And we, of course, cannot kill China Telecom. So we had a joint venture, they have a 70%, we have 30%. And I was so stupid, I think they really love us, but they got us because they want to kill us. <laughs> uh, five, seven bosses, they have a five, we got a two, everything. Without even say our idea, say we don't like it. So, so I said, maybe I should go into Beijing, go to Beijing, join the government. Maybe they can help us promoting the internet. So we went to Beijing, joined the MOFTEC, Ministry of Foreign Trade, as a part-time job, contract for 14 months. I work inside, I find government can never ever promote the internet, you know, make internet business. Because the philosophy of internet is try to develop, how to make other people develop the business. But the government, they want to control at that time. So it's totally different philosophy. They are smart, they're good people, but they think, how can I make it using internet to manage and control. But we think we should make not control, making other people develop. So different philosophy, I think it won't work, so I left. And then uh, during these days, I met Jerry Yan, all right? And then I uh, think, well, you know, no chance in the government, no chance in that man. I believe we should not give up. So I was in a desperate, I think a lot, I should, let's go do it again. So we went back to Hangzhou. That I invited 18 found you know my students and friends in my apartment year two, 1999 February 21st we took the video I was talking about you know, the future yeah. people look at me these guys crazy I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but most people cannot find jobs so I said well if you have an idea let's do it and then um, well good thing is that we keep all the video we our company probably kept the most of the videos and most of the company, yeah. every meeting we had in the past 16 years with videotape because we know everything with every mistake we made, every decision made in the future we will give other, our young people to study us. We're going to open in every 10 years what happened, why we make this decision, even discussing with Yahoo, why we make join with Yahoo, Yahoo, you know, we all videotape. So <clears throat> someday we will open it. Yeah. So 1999, we started the business, and people ask, why not Beijing, Shanghai, why Hangzhou? I mean, now they, Hangzhou is this hub of entrepreneurs and startups and tech, but back then... Back then, Hangzhou is nowhere, and, and I think at that time, Nokia was so good at that time. And I said, guys, where's Nokia? It's a thing that some small island headquarters there. It's not where you are. I don't see, it's where your heart is, where your vision is. So we said, Beijing, they love SOE, state owned business. Shanghai, they love multinational companies. IBM, Microsoft, they, they embrace you. Startup, entrepreneur, forget it, right? So I said, if in Beijing, we're nobody. In Shanghai, we're nobody. If we go to back to Hangzhou, we're the only child of the local family. <laughs> Go with started. Yeah. yeah. And local children 